Cancellation for me is the invalidation of an image. And what I'm interested in doing through my work is generating a friction between the support and the pictorial representation, managing to transform the gaze into a different view and to arouse the viewer's curiosity about what is going on beneath the image or what is happening under the support. I've been working for a long time on different bodies of work. Basically, my starting points in the silk screen process as a visual tool to obtain or to create another type of work where I can easily move around through different supports. In my creative process, I use motion in several ways, in relation to color, in the materials I use, in the composition, as well as in the same movement the production workshop gives me. I create many silk screen prints and, from them, ideas come forth for works on canvas or for using them with other types of support. I am constantly moving in my work. I am not an artist engaged in a single creative process, but instead in several processes simultaneously. For instance, there are works that have already been conceived based on a sketch and they are much easier to complete. And there are still others, such as the graphic work, for example, the serigraph work, in which the process itself tells you how to finish it. What happens is that they are different bodies of work offer different, different endings. I think that art came into my life at a very young age. My father was a collector and used to buy many works of art, and there was much interest. There are no other artists in my family, only me. Later on, when I was 25 years old, I decided to study art after having worked for airlines at the airport. Soon after that, I decided that I wanted to do something that it would excite me. I believe it was a good decision, the decision to study art. We don't practice art in order to escape from reality. I think it's a place for reflection. Where you're allowed, the space where your work allows you to think about your work as well as about what is happening in the world. The deliberate elements that I always see in my work is geometry, which is a tool that is a recurring image in my work. However, what mainly changes in the process is the support which receives that geometry, generating a new friction. Intuition is an important tool within the work which allows me to be different. Not only intuition is related to color or to the process itself, but also to the technique that is going to be used, or to the support on which one is going to work, or to the idea one may have about one's work. I have different bodies of work that allowed me to move around, to move around inside of that intuition, on paper as well as in prints, as well as on canvas. I have different bodies of work, and that allows me to generate friction between, between the prints I work with or between the movements that my work has. I believe that intuition is a tool that is constantly alive inside the workshop. And not only can I find it inside the workshop, but also in the street, or in the market, or in the road, or in life itself. I believe that intuition is ever-present in the artist's life because it allows them to have an all-encompassing view of their work. The work one finds at the workshop is important, but the view one can have within a city or within what one is living at the moment is also important. 